from Vancouver Point Grey. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, uh, to the Minister, uh, through you, Mr. Chair, the parents at uh, Bayview Elementary are incredibly uh, Bayview Elementary are incredibly concerned about the state of their school. Uh, the school will be reduced to rubble in the event of an earthquake, uh, but not only that, uh, the youngest constituents uh, in my riding uh, go to school in a dank basement that has pipes uh, overhead literally wrapped with warnings that say, beware asbestos. Um, the top floor of the building has a classroom full of mold. Uh, there's no access for children with disabilities in the neighborhood. They have to go elsewhere to learn. Uh, parents have been waiting for years for improvements to this school. Uh, they've been very long in coming because our school board has to choose between basic maintenance uh, and actually providing teachers to teach. And despite this, uh, these dire conditions, our uh, teachers and administrators there are some of the best in the province. And uh, my colleague uh, from Mount Pleasant mentioned that uh, uh, at General Gordon, uh, funds have been approved uh, for capital upgrades and for that the community is certainly very grateful. Uh, but unfortunately our school board's been hamstrung again uh, by the approach of the ministry. Uh, there aren't sufficient funds to um, take the approach that was planned which was to upgrade General Gordon uh, while the students were on the site at an annex building. Uh, now the students are going to be bused to uh, two schools very far away uh, near the University of British Columbia for two full academic years, uh, leaving uh, not only the kids and parents in limbo, um, but also the Jericho Kids Club, which is a vital after-school after program. Um, neither host school is large enough to accommodate everybody, so they've, they've actually been split in, into two separate groups. And this is also a great concern to the parents at Queen Elizabeth Elementary and Queen Elizabeth Annex, who are worried about yards being full of portables for two years and also scarce resources at the schools as well. Uh, Minister, I only have a few schools in my riding, and yet many of them are incredibly concerned about uh, underfunding issues you've heard from my colleagues. Um, I have modest expectations about this budget, uh, and so my question in relation to this budget is, uh, is a very minor one with hopes for next year's budget. Uh, will you commit the necessary budgetary funding to come to Vancouver Point Grey and meet with the parent advisory councils for uh, Bayview Elementary, General Gordon Elementary, Queen Elizabeth Elementary, and Queen Elizabeth Annex uh, to hear these problems from the first hand so that in the 2014 budget, Mr. Chair, um, we can make some progress on these issues in a nonpartisan manner. Minister. Thank you, Chair. Um, first of all, I am planning on meeting with the Vancouver School Board, which is, I think, the appropriate uh, meeting for me to have initially because I need to hear their priorities and discuss issues that they have throughout the entire district. Um, my understanding uh, is that Bayview is part of our seismic mitigation program. Uh, I don't have the detail in terms of the sequence and where that is. It is a priority. I think the concerns that you've raised uh, have been brought to the attention of the ministry through the Vancouver School Board, and uh, we will ensure that it moves ahead along with literally dozens of projects that I see on the list for uh, the school district uh, in the city of Vancouver, and we're going to continue to work with them and prioritizing and making sure they happen. 